Hold it! He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. All right, Gary has the T and the color of the day. I know you got a lot of stuff this morning, Gary. Yes, good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. We all heard about the situation that happened last week, y'all, where Cassie allegedly filed a lawsuit against Diddy, claiming that, you know, she went through a lot of stuff with him, trafficking, sex, um, abuse, abuse, everything. And now they're saying, y'all, that Diddy has only paid, they say he only paid her a reported $100 million settlement. What? End, yep, they, he only paid $100 million out of his billion, y'all, to end um, her rape, sex, trafficking, and abuse claim against him. Now, they're saying, y'all, they report y'all that Cassie, now people were wondering, y'all, that um that the settlement likely contained a non-disclosure agreement, y'all, preventing Cassie from speaking openly about the, or any possible criminal wrongdoings he's done during their relationship. So they're saying they asked the question, does this mean that Diddy will not face criminal charges or that Cassie won't testify against him in a criminal case? Well, MTO conducted a bit of a, a legal research. It don't work like turned, that. I don't know. You knew I was going there. They said, honey, the research came out there, honey. Diddy is not out of the water with any respect to any criminal cases. Y'all, they're saying that a civil settlement agreement presumes that the plaintiff case is this case is getting something of value in exchange for giving up something of value in the form, y'all, of claims are right. Now, they're saying giving Cassie a financial reward to induce non-cooperation in a criminal case would be unethical and unlawful against uh, under yeah, the U.S. Yeah, because she could get in trouble for that. Yeah, but in this, but yeah, she could get the- on the stand and then uh, get purged or, or whatever if she don't answer certain questions or whatever because... Uh, uh, the prosecutors are starting to dig in and look and making sure that no crime, crimes right. was committed or whatever, which has nothing to do with the settlement that they have. There you go. If, if the, if the district sad. attorney start getting involved and, and, and start to feel and sense that he did something wrong criminally uh, uh, to her, whether she want to testify or not, uh, yeah. The district attorney can file charges. Is that how it works? Oh, case? yeah, they'll find a way to. That's what Donald Trump is looking at right now. He has a civil case in New York, he has criminal cases mm-hmm. in Georgia and Florida. Yeah. One has nothing to do with the other. Well, why he paid her then? Uh, because the, the civil case could draw out a whole lot of ugly, ugly details and back and forth. And he has to defend himself against some ugly stuff publicly that could drag out for months and months. Talk to R. Kelly about why you would rather pay than have people come and put all your dirty laundry in yeah. the public. Yeah, yeah, that'll mess up his image, any deals he got going all on, that. that'll mess it up. If it ain't if it haven't already. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if more people start coming out. They are. Oh yeah, they the will. Thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, people they are. Come out. You got money like that and you think you the king and can just do whatever you want to do to anybody, it'll come back and bite you. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, bless his spirit and hers too. Then, well, she allegedly she got her hundred million dollars, honey. So, you know, and, ma- and then with- then she married to the bodyguard. Yeah, he's a trainer. Yeah, trainer. Yeah, personal. Yeah. Diddy ma- hired. Yeah. Diddy hired him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine together. being with somebody as fine as Cassie, and she got God. Why I can't be him? Yeah, I know. Uh, Christmas. God. If you could get a billion, uh, well, he, well, he didn't have a billion. He was number the trainer, so he that's was just it. a regular. Oh, person. he's straight now. He with Cassie. Yeah, he's a hundred million there now. And they got, <laughs> don't they got a, a kid? Yeah, two. Got, she had two for oh, and Let me get yeah. them on out quick. Oh, he's good to go. Well, yeah, so God. thanks to Diddy. Then, so that's good. They're going to be able to live and eat good for a good little while. Then. Oh, yeah. So, my and Lord, I just man. hope that she, uh, uh, you know, be alive and well. Yeah. Because, you know, people be speculating stuff about mm-hmm. his ex-wife because she was getting ready to come out with that book, and all of a sudden she but died. Another yeah. angle to that, if all that stuff was true that she said happened to her, and people saying, well, this is all about her just trying to get some money, I don't see a problem with that. If if all of that happened to you as a woman, yeah, come on, I don't now. see a problem with you getting every I, day of dime agree. because yeah. no amount of money can – can pay for the trauma that you went through for all those Absolutely. years. You know, yeah. that's 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 a real traumatizing exactly. situation. And that trauma's going to stay with her until the day exactly. she dies. Exactly. Money ain't going to fix that. Yeah. yeah, and even with Diddy, like, if if he feels like he's innocent, because I know his attorney released a statement that it's not an admission of guilt, but if you didn't do those things, wouldn't you be screaming from the rooftops you and spending your money to defend no yourself? Yeah, exactly. Maria, you yeah. ain't getting nobody no $100 million. No. If, you, if you didn't do it, you're going to go to court and fight it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you did something. Yeah, and so I'm not mad at her. So for all the people saying that she's just trying to get money, I'm not mad at her. Get your money. Yeah, they yeah, need to stop. Yeah, it's sad. She didn't wake up out of her bed and gone on with her life or or, or, or whatever, and and just made made that. I I I just don't believe that she would do that. You look at her, 
You've been following yeah. her for years. You look at her character and, and how she, you, you could just tell, your instinct tell yeah. you that she ain't the bad person in this one. Yeah. yeah. No. She was 19 when they met, and right? And she wasn't the one yeah. with the power. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and he she she had a career at one point, but then honey, I guess he shut it down and had her, you know, because they say every time she tried to leave him, he sent his people to get her back. So you know, and she would go back and what happened. The have details you. were just so specific. Yeah, yeah exactly. So specific. Can't nobody make that up. Mm-mm. Yeah. So we're just gonna keep our parties lifted up in prayer and hopefully in prayer. You know, this all you know. Get well or whatever, honey. I'll have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope she's going to therapy or something, though. Yeah. that's a lot. All that stuff was yeah, a she lot. she got enough yeah. money now to buy a therapist. Uh, hello? Yeah. Move have, in. Have them right in the damn house. Okay, live in. Just go downstairs <laughs> and go to therapy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know if I have enough time to do another story. So yeah, go ahead. Go ahead right quick. Oh, okay. I got, um, in other celebrity news, y'all, this is a sad, touching story. We're going to cry on this one. They're saying y'all, that John Legend and Chrissy Teigen, y'all, they hosted recently Ricky of Friendsgiving, but they're saying they didn't have no black people invited. They said, honey, that John and Chrissy, you know, honey, they had their little Friendsgiving they had over the holiday meal and stuff, and they're saying John prepared the meal himself and Miss Chrissy did, but they're uh-uh, saying... They, ain't nobody crying. They, you know they ain't seasoned that food. <laughs> <laughs> black people, we okay. <laughs> we okay. Then you know damn well ain't no Lauris, ain't no Cajun, ain't no Tonys, ain't no Slap onion powder, ain't no garlic powder, ain't no. none of that stuff involved. Ain't no paprika, ain't none of that involved. Uh, in no mama. Yeah, yeah none of that but, stuff. They, but they said, honey, um, real cranberries John. in the cranberry. Uh, uh-uh, we good. They say before John got with um um Chris, they say, honey, you saw black people all over the place. They say, nah, they didn't have not a one black person allegedly at their house, honey, for this um they friends. They stole all that season out of that when they got fired. <laughs> So they ain't got nothing. All that food bland. Ain't nobody miss nothing. And they say John's favorite dish though for Thanksgiving is green bean casserole. Ricky, y'all oh yeah, that? no, don't. I wish my sister did one. Yeah, I said never. Don't do that no more. That's why. That's why I stop people from bringing stuff. I did. I did that one year. Oh no, you gonna bring nothing? You gonna come in there with all them crock pots, plugging them up, sweaty tops, tops on the counter, water everywhere, aluminum foil, all that. I don't like none of that. None of it. Don't ever do it. I don't let nobody. I don't want you to bring absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't come in there with all that confusion and boxes and pans and <laughs> pots and aluminum foil and sweaty tops and plug. I didn't touch the nerve. No. Why you get so mad? No. <laughs> I didn't touch the nerve. Let me move. That was just green bean casserole. We didn't even eat that growing it's up. Upsetting. I it was. <laughs> green bean casserole is on the back of a can, a can of green beans. If, if, they got, if they got that on the back of a can, you know black folks don't want it. Uh, okay. We want string beans and eyed potatoes. Come on, y'all. Right. Yeah, man, go on on. Give us a clue today. If I get upset. That is hot fuck. <laughs> on the high end, you say hot fuck. You know, the Lord just say beautiful black. That's your cologne for today. It ain't green. He said before he get before upset. Before I get upset, yeah, it's, it's, it's upsetting to hear somebody talk like that. Black folks ain't miss nothing. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team. Oh, wow. <laughs>